Okay. So can you, when you're ready, I'm going to point to him. Uh, did you start? Good afternoon, everyone out there. I am Eunice Lafayette, owner of Lafayette Gallery Vision Center, located at 227 North Market Street in Wilmington, Delaware. And this afternoon, I come on a very somber note because one of Delaware's greatest artists, an icon, Larry Anderson, passed away. That's Larry Anderson in this picture here. Known throughout the state of Delaware. Uh, I would consider him the architect, architect, artist, because a lot of his works focus on buildings. I want to talk a little about his background and what he contributed and the legacy he left. And my relationship with him, actually, I consider him a mentor in terms of putting me on the path to business, to selling my art. Larry Anderson showed in his work the beauty of the Eastern seaboards, sites and events, help us to search for the past and present nostalgia relating to history in the making. He showed us art that reflects our lives and our times. He was dedicated to preserving the history of the region and actively supported causes and efforts by both participation and fundraising. And fundraising is important because that's how I met Larry back in the 90s. Larry graduated from the American Academy for Arts in Chicago. He was transferred to Delaware as an electrical engineer. And when I show you some of his work, you will see how that relates. Electric engineer and construction manager in 1984. So he became a full-time artist and part-time civic activist and he was an advocate for artists we want to give him credit for that some of the great things that larry will be remembered for the flower market his wonderful painting of the rockford town and if you go through the state of delaware in most businesses and establishments, you're going to see Larry Anderson prints. They are all over this city. And I am so delighted that I own some of them. I'll show them to you later. So for 15 years, Larry Anderson served as coordinator for the fundraiser for the Ronald McDonald House of Delaware, which was one of the greatest events for fundraising. He also was in charge of the fundraiser for Wilmington Western Railroad and for many nonprofit organizations. He was founder of the art at the atrium which benefited Habitat for Humanity. His work is in, as I said, many private commercial collections around the world, not just in the state of Delaware, in the city of Wilmington, but around the world. So let me get personal now and talk about the Larry Anderson that I know or knew. In 1998, I was asked by Larry to show my art at the Ronald McDonald House of Delaware for the fundraiser. And that was held at the UD campus, University of Delaware campus in Pennsylvania Avenue. And 
from 98 I started participating up to 2008 when they um, ended that wonderful event. So my work, which is known for diversity, and Larry loved my work for that, because the core of my work is diversity. So that year I exhibited for the first time for the Art Fest. And I had the joy of having a patron. It was a patron who walked up to this work of art. And she was curious. She inquired about the work of art. And I explained it to her. She looked at the painting and she said, this looks just like me. And she was in tears. She later went to get her husband who was somewhere in the exhibition, looking somewhere. She brought him to my booth. And she, she asked me, she said, tell him the story about this painting. And I told him. She started crying again. He put his arms around her and said, you wanted love? He purchased this painting for her. Yes, it was at a very good price. And I donated, which was part of the fundraising effort. I donated 25% of the sales of my original painting to the Ronald McDonald House of Delaware. I believe in artists supporting other artists and I'm an artist and I have a lot of work however I am an art collector yeah I have my own private collection and with the passing of Larry I am so very happy that I had purchased some of his work at one of the Ronald McDonald exhibitions or event or fest I decided I was going to purchase so I purchased four and Larry was very, very good at documenting his work. He has left a great legacy. Numbered his print, had the titles written on them. So the first one, which is very, very important to me, is this one. That is Market Street Memories. You remember Woolworth? If you live in the city of Wilmington, you'd have remembered Woolworth which now is Walgreens, right there at 9th and Market Street. And that is Larry's painting of it. As I told you, he was an architect, so he, he used that architectural, intricate design with his paintings. The next painting from which I purchased this limited edition print is Sweet Traditions of Gavatas, that, that candy store. Yeah, that candy store, which is no longer in existence. The, I'm not sure what they, I just saw them cleaning it out. It's going to be something else. But that was that place right there too, on the, in the Market Street area. And look at the architecture in Larry's paintings so very captivating. He captured the finite details of these places. This one is titled Dollar Days for, and it's a location, 4th and Market Street. Now, when I came here first back in 1983, this place was still open, the dry goods. Everybody who has a Wilmington background knows about the dry goods store. And that's Larry Anderson's work of that place. Then the fourth one, this one, Market Days again. Market Days is 4th Street and it's featuring pay cash, pay less at the Wilmington Dry Goods, right there. And look at those old-fashioned cars. What this says here, California Fruit Market. Wilmington Meat Market, all that place. Pep Boys, 
all those places which have now been converted into other businesses. So Larry Anderson has left a vast legacy of art that captures our city, our state, the eastern seaboard, and these are treasures. These are treasures. I recall um, going to my bank on Market Street, then I was always very, very delighted to see Larry's paints on the walls. I went to another place yesterday. I looked up, there was a Larry Anderson that a Rockford Tower and the works of art which were at my bank on 9th Street are no longer there and I spoke with the manager yesterday and I said bring wherever you put those works because <laughs> they're renovated and they did not replace the art on the wall I said this is a valuable body of work that you had put them back out there on the wall hopefully they will restore them on the wall because we want to remember this great artist not just an artist but the contributions he made to fundraising being an activist working for the good of the community and i am so very delighted i have had the joy of knowing the man the man behind the architectural art of our city and the art of the eastern seaboard and all around the state so if you have a larry anderson work of art it's going to worth a fortune and um, i say that to say i am very i'm very happy that larry during his lifetime enjoyed the benefits the fruits of his labor yes he enjoyed that while he was alive and, and that's how we should purchase the work of artists while they're alive so that they can enjoy the fruits of their labor and Larry certainly did and he, he has left behind a great legacy of work so I have my collection here of Larry Anderson's famous works of art and it is from that philosophy of artists supporting other artists. And it's also from my philosophy of it takes a village to grow a business. And we, we must support businesses of all types as part of our commitment to our community. So... I just want to put the spotlight on this work of art and to explain it because Larry liked it too. When I explained the meaning behind this, my most signature work of art, the melting pot versus the salad bowl and the couple who purchases are interracial. I remember the, um, the wife, she was Caucasian or she is Caucasian, her husband, African-American and when I explain how the images represent our evolution we have evolved we are no longer this great melting pot that we were conceived to be where it was assumed that we were all one of the same and we should just be a happy stew pot part of stew and get along no we are a diverse nation we are a nation of immigrants we are a nation of different cultures and each ingredient meaning each person brings flavor to the culture and this work of art I treasure as I said the original was sold through the opportunity that Larry Anderson provided for me to attend that annual Ronald McDonald House of Delaware Art Fest. That's where I sold this piece of work. 
and I do have many, many limited edition prints of it. Available right here at the Fake Gallery, 227 North Market Street in Wilmington, Delaware, and it's also online at www.lafaitegallery.com. Art is more than beauty on the wall. Art is wealth, and Larry has left us a great legacy of wealth through his art. Art conveys the spirit of our community. You know, it can make us nostalgic. It triggers different emotions. And for those people who treasure history, when you look at these works of art, you can reflect on the history and you can share that history with the next generation. And that's why it's great to preserve art because it is just a way of passing on our tradition. So thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to like and share it. And let's remember Larry Anderson, the iconic artist, I call him the architectural artist that created a great legacy and left us a great legacy in the city of Wilmington, the state of Delaware, the nation, and his work has gone worldwide. Rest in peace, Larry Anderson. You left us a great legacy. And I am grateful for the opportunity that you provided me to market my art. That was the first, that Ronald McDonald, that was the first time I realized the true value of my work there. And uh, every year, Larry would have to mentor me as I would go to put my work out for sale. And that, those were the golden days when MBNA was in the city and they, they used to purchase a lot. So thanks again for watching the video. And I am delighted to give this tribute to Larry Anderson. Thank you.